Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another weekend hiking vlog from the beautiful Swiss Alps. This time I came to a little bit uncommon location of mine. This region is called Linthal. I have never hiked to this, uh, this region before, but I did come here to photograph a beautiful waterfall which is nearby. So I'm very excited to explore this region and find out what it has to offer. Now there is something new about today's vlog because this is the first solo vlog of mine this year and this is also the first vlog where I'm gonna camp at night again for this year. So I'm very excited because uh, I love to camp but somehow in the previous hikes I did not camp. So stay along and I show you how this region looks and take you to an experience and journey through the Swiss Alps. Now that I have started the hike, as usual, let me explain the location a bit for better perspective. Situated at East Central Switzerland, at the border of Canton Glarhaus and Grison, Limernsee is a mountain reservoir lake. Due to the collection of glacial water, the lake has a strong turquoise blue shade, and the bird eye view of it is breathtaking. The best place to enjoy it is from the viewpoint of Mutenshof, which is my final destination today. To reach Mutenshof, I took a cable car from Tirfed, where I spent yesterday night. From there, a short but steep 5.5 km hike will take me to my camping spot of the day. And in the process, I will climb around 750 meters. So, so far I'm enjoying my time. The path is supposed to be a T3, which basically means that it should be a little bit more complicated than that normal, well-built T2 paths. I didn't see something very complicated so far. There should be some ladders and stuff after this. Let's see, will be some adventure. To be honest, I'm taking my time because I have plenty of time. It's around 10.20 now and the sunset is around 9.15 p.m. So I have the whole day. So nice to enjoy the view and the ambience of Mother Nature. Okay, so as for my watch and all trail, I've covered one kilometer in Swiss German style and climbed 260 meters. It took me around 20 minutes, so not bad. Let's continue. Look at that. There's a little butterfly on my finger. It's crazy. So, today's attraction is Limernsee. A bird eye view of that lake is amazing. At least that's what I have researched for. Now, Limernsee is also a man-made lake. It's a glacial reservoir for hydroactive project. Very similar to Gilmersee. But the setting of that is unbelievably beautiful with the surrounding mountain. Let's see how it looks.
second kilometer done 468 meters total the second kilometer took me around 25 27 minutes not bad two more kilometers to go but the next part seems to be more stiff let's see as I said a lot of time get there slowly you see that top on the right that is the destination that's where I have to go you see some people are already there but I still have to climb that Slowly we started leaving the grassland, the green part and going towards this rocky place which looks to be pretty interesting. Let's see. Now finally we came above the Kinnadi. There is no more green at least for some time. Now we will go all the way through this moraine and loose boulder route. Very exciting. Let's go. kilometers 685 meters the third one took me around 27 minutes one more kilometer to go so it's good time to sit down and have something to eat so while I munch my little dry food let me show you where I came from and I can still see a lot of people coming up some are going down some are relaxing. The view from here is pretty beautiful. But I can tell you, the view from the top should be even more gorgeous. Let's see. Okay, there it is, that's the hut. So we are just few minutes away from sausage and beer. No, I don't drink alcohol, that was more from a movie. But those huts serve fantastic warm food. I do have some sandwiches, cold frozen sandwiches. Who will eat that if we can get some beautiful and amazing food? So let's go to the hut. And after that, we'll go to that magical location. Kilometer number four completed. Mutansi Hut. There was a place available in the hut, but today I'm camping. So let's get some hot food and go to the camping location. All the menus are in German. Now I come from a French speaking part of Switzerland. I did manage to learn a bit of French, but German not really. Thanks for the ladies. Hello. <laughs> Help me ordering something. Thank you. So I have some large apple juice and burger. Mm. Okay. While I'm walking towards the uh, camping location, one quick tip, something that I always do. Wherever I go, if there is a mountain hut nearby, I always go and eat something from them. I don't know why, but most of them, or at least wherever I went, the food is unbelievably beautiful. And you know, when you are tired after a long walk, having something like a warm food is like paradise. And most of them, cook very well so something that you should definitely do 
Wow. Wow. Look at that. I knew this was amazing, but oh my God, this is absolutely epic. Let me show you some more view of it. Oh my God. It was crazy, right? Absolutely mind-blowing. Now it's the boring part. It's like 4.30 now. I will camp around 6, 6.30. So I have to wait here for one and a half, two hours doing nothing. The view is beautiful, but still one and a half hours doing nothing. But well, that's what it is. All right, 6.30, time to pitch the tent. All right then, preparation for a good night's sleep complete. Okay, dinner time. Actually, the dinner is going to be light because uh, I had that burger quite late, so I'm not that hungry. I ate half of the sandwich in the morning. The rest of the half will be good enough for the dinner. Hmm. It seems still all right. <laughs> because it's pretty hot, I was not sure in the bag what is the situation of it now. But, you yeah, know, seems okay. Now let's finish the dinner quickly and shoot some magical light. Okay, so sunset is done for tonight. It was not really those spectacular sunsets that we sometimes get, but it was not bad. So it's time to get a few hours of nap before coming out for the Milky Way at around 11. So see you at 11. Good night. Eleven o'clock. Time to shoot some Milky Way.
Good morning. It's getting brighter. 5.30 on the watch. Time to get out and see how the sunrise looks like. Beautiful, right? It's a bit windy and pretty flat. Let's see what we can do. So, that's it. Time to say goodbye to Mutan Shop. A beautiful night out at the lap of Mother Nature. I thoroughly enjoyed it, probably because it was the first time this year. I hope you enjoyed it the same way I did. And if you did so, please give me a thumbs up. That means a lot to me. And if you have not done it already, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification of our upcoming videos. So. Ciao for now.